Okay, we've got an Illinois Everbearing Mulberry here, and we've got a bunch of new growth that's crossing over. So I think what I'm gonna do is attempt to air layer maybe both these branches, but I'll just do one of them on film here, on camera. Here's my air layering ball here. We're gonna see, okay, it looks like the center is gonna be right where that node is. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bark right there. Okay, line up through there, and then we'll use the bark lifter. Okay, cleaned off my bark lifter. Let's see if we can get underneath there. Just like that. Let's, uh... Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and scrape this off. We want to get, make sure, completely get all that cambium. One thing I like to do is expose a little extra cambium here, like that. We're gonna do that on both sides. And then I'm gonna put a little rooting hormone on there. This is Clonex rooting hormone, so. Right where we've exposed the cambium layer. And now we take our rooting ball and we'll just about like that. Flip it over on itself. And that should keep it sturdy on that branch. We'll check back in about, I don't know, four to six weeks and hopefully we'll have some roots in there. Okay, so we have our air layers here. These are about a month old. We put them on beginning of July and it's now beginning of August. So July 4th to August 4th, about four weeks, which is pretty short. But I think since we're in the middle of the season, uh, we'll probably have some good roots on there. And I looked at the leaves above and the leaves are still strong. So hopefully we've got some roots. Let's give it a look. Okay, so first I'm gonna remove the uh, twist ties here. And when we take this off, we wanna be careful to not break those roots off and try and keep everything intact. So I'm gonna very carefully unsnap it and see if we can break it away. Okay, it'll fall apart a little bit, but I can see roots. Okay. So it didn't come off in one piece. Uh, if we would have left it on probably another month, this would be a full ball of roots there. But I think we've got enough to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off, make a cut right below here, and then we'll get that transplanted. Okay, so I'm gonna cut right below. 
make sure I don't cut any of those roots. Okay, and there is our rooted cutting. You can see where I made the little cuts on the side, the roots are coming from there. Same over here where I made that little cut, uh, or I scraped the side to expose the cambium. You see the roots form from up there, not just at the top of our, uh, where we girdled the branch. So let's get this planted. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these leaves uh, just so we don't lose a bunch of uh, water to transpiration. We don't have a lot of roots here to support all these leaves. So I might leave maybe half a leaf here and I'm gonna cut this off probably here. So maybe I'll leave one or two of these half leaves. I think I'll cut this one off. It's not looking very healthy. I'll cut this one right here. Maybe this one right here. And I'll cut this whole thing off probably here. So I'm gonna cut it off and then I'm gonna wrap it in some grafting tape. So for the rest of these, I'm just gonna cut off all of the leaves. And we're gonna use this to make some cuttings. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here. You can see the roots are down there. We've got one, two, three, four, five nodes. That should be enough to make sure we get some growth. And I'm gonna cut this at an angle. Okay. Okay, I've got some parafilm here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that cut at the top just to uh, make sure we keep as much moisture in as possible. Um, shouldn't take much, just a little bit there. Pull it so it sticks to itself and we should be good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it in this, kind of let the bottom of the cutting touch the bottom of the container. Just for stability, put some Chromix in here at the top. Doesn't matter if we go deep, it'll just make more roots. And we'll water this in and label it. We should be, it should give us a nice uh, air layer. Okay, it's been about 36 days for this Illinois Everbearing Mulberry Air Layer since we cut it off the tree. Uh, we repotted it 36 days ago. We've got some growth coming out, and today we're going to take a look and see what the roots look like. Uh, this is just for the video. I wouldn't probably normally do this, but I think it'll be interesting to see how it's doing. So I'm going to gently pull this out. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, nice healthy roots in 36 days. Okay, so four weeks on the tree, which is a pretty short amount of time. We did have some good roots though, they were small, but another five weeks in the pot. And as you saw, we had some pretty good roots in there. So about a little over two months total, and we've got a great little Illinois Everbury mulberry tree here.